Now we are finally down to our last section of Lesson 5-1, which covers question 16 only. This question actually asks us to use that formula we came up with in item 15 to find the distance between coordinates 12, comma, negative 5 and negative 3, 7. So I'm going to bring that formula over. That was D equals the square root x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. Where we're going to treat one of these as x1, y1, and x2, y2. Again, remember to plug them in appropriately into this formula. You were given on the previous slide a math tip about simplifying radicals because there are two ways we could do this. If it doesn't come out to a perfect square, we learn to simplify radicals back in Algebra 1, or you can write the approximate. But I want you to know how to do both. So in this particular example, I'm going to tell you that it does not come out to a perfect square, and I want you to do both uh, formats here. So I'm going to give you and your table mates four minutes. You're only working through the math here on question number 16. Go ahead, pause your video. Here I have now walked through question number 16. I actually walked you through step by step how I worked through this. I um, first wrote down the distance formula, which was what I brought over from previous question number 15. I then substituted my values in that I said I was going to use for x1, y1, x2, y2. I combined like terms, so I simplified my parentheses. 12 minus a negative 3 is a positive 15. Negative 5 minus 7 is a negative 12. I then simplified by doing the squares. So I got 225 and 144. And whenever I combined like terms, I got 369. Now, 369 is not a perfect square. If you would have actually typed it in the calculator, it would have been 19.20937271. So I kind of rounded that off. I used three digits. You could have even put 19.2. That's close enough, okay? But I also worked through the way that we would have learned in Algebra 1 on how to simplify radicals. And what I did was I created a factor tree. And I know that both 9 and 41, when multiplied together, they give me 369. Well, I know that 9 is a perfect square, 3 times 3. So I said that, remember, if you recall from last year, if they had a pair, one of them got to come outside of the radical, okay? They got to basically go on a date because they were a couple, but whoever was home alone, um, whoever did not have a date had to stay home alone. So they stayed underneath the radical symbol. I know it's been a while since Algebra 1 whenever we covered that topic. So we have 3 square root of 41. And that happened to actually be the math tip example that they gave us. So make sure you recall your simplifying radical steps. On to your final debriefing question.